Hi everyone, welcome to Island Rhythmics and our recreational class. This is the third of the series. So you've um, learned balances with Coach Kiki and locomotions and body waves with Coach Clara. I am Coach Angela. I have been coaching for, goodness, many years, probably about 20. Um, and I started the club with my mother, Danielle. So we will be doing, today we'll be going over some of the stuff that you learned in the last two classes and we'll be adding some ball skills with them. Now, not everyone has a ball, so there's some modifications we can do. If you do have a ball, go grab one any size, doesn't matter. I have a nice little red one from when I was about three and I started gymnastics, but you can have any other form of a ball. So, should prep this before. Um, I will be using a makeshift ball that are just really big fluffy socks. So if you have big fluffy socks, that'll do for the most part um, of what we're gonna be doing. Um, if you don't have a ball and all you have is socks, when we do rolls, it might be a little tricky. So you may wanna try either a roll of toilet paper, cause it rolls, um, or a water bottle, an empty water bottle <laughs> that you don't mind if it falls on the floor. So make sure it's maybe plastic um, or something like that because we're going to try a few rolls and I don't want anything to break. Before we get started, do take a moment to make sure that you clear a space so that you're not going to hit anything or slip on anything or trip on anything. Make sure your space is safe and you can actually enjoy the class. Okay, so I'll give you just a couple seconds to go grab your apparatus or your versions of apparatus and to clear your space. Okay, let's start. So we're gonna start with a warm up because we need to make sure that our bodies are ready to move. So we'll just back up a little here so you can see me. We're gonna start with running on the spot. Just a normal run. If you've got enough space, you can go for a little jog around. Just get the heart rate going up a little bit. And we're gonna swing our arms around in circles. Now when we run, try and make sure that we go on toes, okay? If you land with flat feet, the people downstairs are not gonna be happy. If you live in a home, then maybe there are, I don't know, fairies in your basement and they don't wanna get woken up. So we're gonna be really quiet and just land on our toes, listen. Right? And point your toes behind you. Good, and keep those arms going. And other side. Good. And now we're gonna go high knees. So put your hands roughly at your belly button height and you're gonna swing your knees up. This is not bring your hands down to touch your knees. You wanna make sure you kick up. Ready, we're gonna do Let's say 10 to start. Ready, five each leg, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good, take a break. Just walk in place and swing your arms side to side, or sorry, front and back. When you do this, try and keep them at your shoulder level. So this is just gonna stretch and open up through your chest here. We're just gonna get these arms moving a bit. If you're down here, they're really just making air which is fine, but we want to stretch a little bit. Good, walking on the spot so that we're still moving a bit. And now we're gonna go into our bum kicks. So hands can be wherever you want, but we want to make sure that we control them. So they're not just like flopping around like crazy. So kick your bum, that's the idea. Your knees stay close together. So kick, 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 kick. And same thing here, point your toes behind you and land gently on your toes. Good job. All right. Well, we should probably take a second to just breathe. So reach up, try and go really, really, really high on toes. Reach right up to the ceiling. Think about reaching through your feet, make them longer. Through your legs, through your hips, try and make your hips longer and your tummy all the way through your spine and your ribs get higher. Watch your shoulders don't get higher. We don't need earrings, we're good. So shoulders down, long neck, reach those arms. And now we're gonna stay on high toes. 
Take a deep breath in, and then relax. Push your feet high, high, high up on toes, but relax the rest of your body. We can do like noodle arms. Just make them, just relax. And we're gonna reach up one more time. Reach, 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 reach through the tips of your toes. Reach up through your feet, through your legs, through your hips, through your tummy, through your spine, through your ribs. Watch the shoulders, through your arms, through your neck. And down, keep those heels really high. See, my heels are still really high when I'm here. And noodle arms, just relax. You want to give your shoulders a shake? Make it really noodly. You can go ahead and do that. Good job. All right. Are we feeling warmer? I hope so. Maybe we'll do a couple jumping jacks just to err on the side of caution. Okay? So we're going to do 10 jumping jacks. Ready? And go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. Good job. Okay, great. Well, let's sit down. Oh, sorry. No, let's not sit down yet. So hands on your hips and you can just put your legs a comfortable distance apart. We're just going to warm up our head a little bit. Watch here that your, your, your shoulders don't become earrings. So keep them down and head just side to side. Think about those shoulder blades melting in towards the center line of your back. Okay. We don't want to be doing this. We want a nice flat back, tall chest. If you had a teacup, it should be, don't try this, but think that you have a teacup on your chest. You want it to be nice and tall. And head side to side. Good. Feel a stretch. If you want a bit more of a stretch, grab your opposite ear and hold it down. That'll give you a bit more of a stretch. If you're good with just side to side, go ahead. And switch. And up and down, all the way up to the ceiling. Watch here again, that we don't go like this. We're not, we don't need this chicken or T-Rex arms, yeah? We wanna stay nice and tall and rise up through our bodies. Melt those shoulder blades down your back. Good job. All right, well, we already warmed up our shoulders when we were running, so we're good there. Hands on your hips legs apart and now we want to see some attitude so put your hip to the side and give me some attitude i'm sure it's in there somewhere just move your hips that's all it is you can make a face if you want if not just hip side to side or you can just go nice and simple like this too i think it's more fun to have a little bit of attitude you can use your arms too all right, good job. Now touch your feet, or sorry, your hands to the floor. And now here you can swing your hips side to side if you want. Or if you're just trying to touch the floor, then go for it. Just take your time, nice and gentle. If this is comfortable for you, you can grab your legs, bend your knees and grab behind your legs. So here, my hand goes through my legs and I grab around and I stretch my knees and pull right up. Try and see the ceiling behind you. Only if it's safe, watch out, you may tip over, okay? So only if that's comfortable. Good job. Okay, I think we're ready to sit down for real this time. So let's go down on the floor. When we sit on the floor, we wanna make sure that we're really tall through our body. So we're not waiting for the bus or whatever else, mode of, whatever mode of transportation. You're sitting on the couch playing video games, watching TV, whatever it is that makes you sit like this. We want to sit nice and tall. And if you think about sitting, I say you sit on the front of your bum. If you sit on the back of your bum and you let your bum kind of roll down to the floor, then you get a round back. So let's try and sit nice and tall on the front of your bum. Okay, there we go. And we're just going to go up and down with our toes. Up and down. Push the backs of your heel or your knees into the ground so that they stay really straight. And squeeze your heels together. Watch, we don't go pigeon-toed. So we don't wanna go in like this. We wanna make sure that our feet are in line with our legs. 
okay? So your baby toe might be out a little bit, but your big toes are in line. So up and down. If that's easy, you can go one at a time. If that's a good level of challenge for you, stay there. If that's getting easy, now we can test our coordination. One circles and one goes up and down. Give that a go. It's a little tricky. Still thinking about the tall body through, rising up through your ribs. Good job, switch feet. Oh. Good, oh, and I lost my feet weren't together. Tisk tisk. Make sure that your feet stay close together. Now reach up to the ceiling and touch as far down your toes as you can. When you go in through this move, you wanna make sure you start with your belly button so we don't start like this, like a turtle. We wanna go far with our body, okay? Keep those toes pointed, keep your knees on the ground. If you go like this, it's not really working. So reach far. If you need a little extra stretch, flex your feet, bring them in. If this is good enough, stay there. Try and bring your nose right down to your legs. Good job. And butterfly. Put the bottoms of your feet together and bring them in. So same thing here, we want to stay nice and tall. So we're creating that habit now. So when we do our routines, we're used to being tall, right? And having that posture. You can push one leg down at a time. If you need a little extra stretch, and now we're gonna fold from the hips. Think about going with your belly button first. So think your belly button wants to touch your feet. Some of you guys are gonna be much more flexible than me. So I will show <laughs> my maximum and then you guys go as far as you can. If you can, try and put your nose in between your toes. You can also even like squeeze them with your big toes. Squeeze your nose with your big toes. See if that works. All right, and from here, we're gonna go into our froggy stretch. So hands and knees on the floor, just like this. All right, and we're gonna let our legs slide out to the side. Make sure that your knees, while we're in this, make sure your knees are in line with your hips, okay? So not out here and not right here. So in line with your hips and watch my feet. We wanna make sure that they're pointed, but not in like this. That's still being a little pigeon toed. So we want to push the heels into the ground. Okay. Three more seconds. Three, two, one. Good job. Bring your legs together. Maybe give them a shake. That was a lot. Okay. Now up onto your knees again. Put one leg in front of you. So you're fully stretched out. Now you're just going to transfer your weight onto that front leg and go into a lunge position. Make sure that your knee stays above your heel, so not too far forward. This will hurt your knee, it'll long term, it'll hurt your knee. So we wanna make sure that we're in line here and supporting our bodies. Watch that back toe, make sure it's pointed. If you want an extra challenge, bring your body up. Tall body, remember our teacup? We wanna make sure that it's stable there. So nice and tall. Good job. And now we're just gonna slide into split if we can. If we can't, just go as far as you can. The more you work on it, the better it'll be. But not everybody's able to do it first try. All right, and roll your legs. And another leg. So turn, put one knee up. Oops, sorry, straight leg. And now we're just gonna transfer our weight forward. Keep that back toe, can you see it? Keep the back toe pointed. Knee above your heel. And again, tall body if you want that extra challenge. If you're really bendy and this is easy for you, stretch, go up on your foot and stretch that back knee. And that'll give you a little further to go. That one gets right in there. Good job. And now split. Hold. You can do it just as far as you can. Don't go too far. Good job, and wriggle your legs. If you wanna be a little goofy, you can put our hands and legs in the air and just shake them around. Good job. All right, next, 
are back. We need to warm up just a little bit for some of the stuff we're doing. So we're gonna hold hands and knees one more time and arch your back like a super happy kitty. When you do this, think you're a kitty in the sun, you're stretching. Bring your shoulders, try and squeeze them towards your hips and tuck your tailbone. If you don't know what your tailbone is, it's the last bone in your back there. Tuck it up to the ceiling. Good, and belly button down to the ground, keeping your knees, or your knees, those aren't knees, your elbows straight. And big grumpy kitty, so when kitties, they get scared, they go whew, right? So we wanna be just as big as them. Use your arms to push the floor away, tuck your head under. Use your tummy muscles to push into your spine. Think your back wants to go all the way up to the ceiling and your shoulders come in towards your hips. Good, and happy kitty. We'll do a shorter one this time. Now watch, my toes are still pointed. The idea is that you wanna put the top of this, of your ankle onto the ground and curl your toes up. And one more, grumpy, 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 grumpy. Push into your feet, two here, Rah! Good, and seal, so we're gonna go down on our tummies. Mm, there, you can sort of see me. Straight knees, pointed toes, keep those toes pointed, and reach up. So to get into this position, if, you're, if I went too fast for you, sorry, if not, stay where you are. Put your hands by your shoulders, just a little lower. So the tips of your longest fingers should touch kind of your armpit, and then push up. If that's easy enough, you can move them back and arch. My back doesn't bend like it used to. But that's okay. And think about opening your chest, that teacup's still there. Now bend your knees and try and touch your head. If you can touch your head, try and touch your nose or your chin or your shoulders or I don't know, something else. Maybe try and learn how to brush your hair when you're back there. That's a cool trick. Good, and down. So we're gonna roll over. And just grab our legs. You can roll a little bit if you want. If you're on hardwood, maybe that's less of an idea for you. But you can just curl up into a ball, roll side to side. We arch our back one way, so we need to make sure that we roll it the other way. All right, great. So that was our warm up. Now, you might wanna grab a good drink of water so go ahead and do that, and I'll meet you back here in just a second. Just pause the video though, so I don't lose you. Okay, so we're back. Sounds good. Um, next, we will do a quick review of the balances and the locomotions that you did with Kiki and Clara, and then we'll be taking our ball and adding to them, okay? So want to make sure that the basics are down because then when we start adding stuff to play with with our hands it gets to be a lot so let's start with our balances i think you guys did three balances so do you remember your passe balance your front 90 and your front scale the passe balance i sometimes call a flamingo balance because it looks kind of like a flamingo so let's start with that one now with all of our balances and all of our moves, we wanna make sure that we're ready. Okay, because it's like if somebody woke you up in the middle of the night and said, okay, five times 10, go. You wouldn't be so, you'd need a minute to wake up. So we need to tell our bodies, okay, we're gonna do something. So that's what these preparations are all about. They're really about centering your body. So nice and tall, squeeze your legs together, belly button to spine, tailbone tucked under. So we don't wanna be like this or like this. If you're wobbling like this, we got problems, okay? So let's go nice and tall. If you wanna take a moment to test your balance, you can hold like this, squeeze your legs into the middle. If that's easy enough, try and close your eyes. It's a little trickier. Give it one more go. Close your eyes. Try and hold. Try not to wiggle. If you were a statue, would people believe that you were a statue? Good job, okay, let's, whew, let's relax for a second and back up. So now we're gonna go on flat foot. We're gonna zipper our leg right up in the passe balance. Remember to use the muscles in here and bring that knee nice and high 
If you want to go up on toe, go ahead and finish. Let's do two each leg, because I think you guys did a lot. Let's just, we're just reviewing. So nice and tall, on flat foot, same leg, up. Bring that knee up to your belly button height and make sure that your toe is just love pecking, not no bear hugs today with those feet. Just a nice gentle love peck. And go up on toe and zipper your feet down. Good job. All right, relax. And let's get the other foot going. Ready, nice and tall. I'm gonna do something cool. And then down and then zipper that leg up. Remember belly button to spine. Hold your body strong. No bear hugs, just a little love peck. Strong bottom leg, rise up on toes and down. If you want to challenge yourself, try and see how long you can stay, okay? Can you hold for like five Mississippis? That would be really cool. So hold strong, ready, down and up. Make sure your bottom leg is really nice and straight and whoopee. I was not holding my belly button. Up. And finish. Good job. All right, relax your arm. Ooh, and your legs. When we do balances, sometimes it's a really good idea to think about your feet being really heavy. So that anchors us a little bit more into the floor. So think either maybe, I don't know, you have an elephant sitting on your foot. It would hurt a little, but imagine he's not that heavy. Um, or you've got kind of like a sandbag, or that you're, maybe your foot is growing roots like it's the roots of a tree, okay? So think about that to get your foot really nice and flat on the ground. Next, we are going to do your front 90s. So that is here, and lift the leg up there, okay? You want the toe to be at your belly button height. This one's a little hard on the front leg, but I know you guys can do it, it's gonna be great. Try and keep both knees really nice and straight, and think that you want to rise up. So when we did this reach up here, and then we went down, that rise is what you want to feel here so you can rise through that leg. Okay, let's give it a go. So all together, I'll turn sort of sideways so you can see me, ready, nice and tall. I'm gonna do something awesome. That's what a preparation says to people. So we're gonna do something awesome. Go onto your flat foot and rise up. If you want to go on toe, go ahead. Ooh. Some of you may be holding that up in me right now. And finish. Oof, I struggled on that one, but I'm sure you guys did great. Okay, let's try it one more time on this leg. Ready, one, two, three, and down, and hold, and on toe. Oof, that was not my best, but hey, everybody's at a different place. Good job. Okay, shake those legs out because they're a little tired. That's a tough one. When you do this, make sure that you don't lift with your bum out, okay? It's not a karate kick. It's more of a lift through the lower leg. So keep your hips in line. Otherwise, when you do this, whoa, it's hard to keep your balance, okay? So nice and tall, hold strong, and I'm gonna do something awesome. Down, and leg up. Go on toe if you want, and finish. Good. Let's try again. Ready, and preparation, because I'm gonna do something awesome. And down, and up, and finish. If you wanted to go on toe, you could have gone ahead. Oof, I just wanted to get my stability under control. So I'm having trouble with that down this one today. Okay, so next balance is our front scale. You can put your arms in a lot of different places. Don't remember where Kiki put hers. But if we go here, you wanna think you're hinging at the hip. Make sure, I think she talked about those flashlights on your hips. You wanna make sure that they're going in the same direction, not all over the place. So make sure they're nice and straight, square those legs, and squeeze in this muscle right in here at the top of your leg to move your body, hinge like one straight piece. So your arms can be here or here or here, whatever is better for you. Watch that hip, you might wanna just do a check and then you come up and finish. If you wanna try on toe, go ahead, okay? So we're gonna do two each leg. That was just the demonstration, sorry. Ready, nice and tall. I'm gonna do something awesome. All right, and step, 
nice and tall. Now squeeze that back and squeeze the lower leg. And we're gonna use this to hinge. So make this all one piece. Hold all one piece. Make sure, ooh, make sure your flashlights are facing the same thing. They're on either side of your foot. And finish up. Nice and tall. So we wanna finish at the end too because that gives everybody a chance to adore the beautiful work that you just did. So always finish nice and strong, okay? Even if we struggled a little in the move, it doesn't matter. It's still a lot, it's still hard, and people should still clap for us. All right, ready? And nice and tall, and hinge at the hip. Watch those headlights, or sorry, those flashlights. Pour your weight into that foot, and up and finish. Good job. Okay, other leg, ready? One, two, three, and dip, and flashlights. Think of squaring the hips, and finish. And one more time. Oops, sorry, I missed. I'm gonna do something else, Adam. Down. Now, straighten out your back. You're gonna be one whole piece. You're gonna squeeze in through that front hip. Squeeze, come up. Hold strong. Don't forget to stretch that back leg and point that back toe and finish strong. All right, good job. All right, so that was your balances. That's great. Now we've got, we remember them all and we've practiced them and our body's all aware of what we're doing. So now we're gonna go and remember our um, chenets and our grapevines, okay? You did these with Coach Clara in um, video two or in week two. So, let's start with our grapevines. You may want to find a spot where you've got a fair amount of space to move, because we're going to be going sideways, okay? Um, we're going to be going back and forth, so let's test our ability to do that. If that's not working for you, then just walk back and then go the other way, okay? Just do that two times and then come back two times. So nice and strong those arms. Now remember the grapevine. We're gonna go step to the side. Now you're gonna step to the front, step to the side, and step to the back, to the side. And I'm off the screen now. And we're gonna go that way. And side, front, side, back. Side, front, side, Back. I'm trying to make them really small so you can still see me. All right, good job. Arms, wiggle those arms a little bit. And here we go. One more that way and then one more this way. Ready, and so side, front, side, back. Side, front, side, back. Side, front, side, back. All right, and we'll go again that way. Ready, and side, front, side, back. Side, front, side, back. Now Clara showed you a few other fun ways to do it. Your hands on your hips and you're turning your shoulders and nice and jumpy. If you want to do them that way too, absolutely up to you. I was just trying to go with the basics, but you can add some flair for sure. All right, next we've got chenets. So your arms are gonna go here and around, like you're playing a giant accordion, hugging a beach ball, whatever it is that works for you, <laughs> all right? And you're gonna go one leg out to the side. Okay, if I'm going that way, I want this leg out. And I'm gonna step on that leg and I'm going to bring my arms together and bring my feet together at the same time and turn, turn and step and turn, and step. All right, let's go this way, that way, and then back again, and then we'll go, we'll take a drink break, and then we'll start with the ball. So out to the side, the arms, and together turn, and out, and together turn, and out, good. Back that way, and turn, and out, and turn, and out. Oops, I almost lost it there. And that way last time, and turn one, and out, and turn, and down. 
relax. Okay, good. Maybe give yourself a couple hops if you're a little dizzy. That happens. You're doing a lot of spinning. So go ahead and grab your drink of water now and uh, come on back. All right, are we good to go? I hope so. Okay, so now we've done balances, locomotions, and now we're starting with our ball. Pretend, this is my ball for today. Um, if you have a ball, you can just use it for the whole time. If you don't have a ball, then I'll be letting you know when to switch between this and either your plastic water bottle or your roll of toilet paper. But we'll be using the big fluffy socks um, for a good chunk of it. Anyways, okay. So we're gonna start first with some really basic ball stuff. So when you hold a ball, think of it as an egg or as a little a baby chick, okay? So you don't wanna like, cause the poor little chick is not gonna be super happy with that. And the egg will probably blow up in your hand. So we wanna be nice and gentle, make a bed for it really, okay? Nice and gentle. No squeezing, that's not what we want. Nice and gentle, balance the ball in your hand. Okay, so we're gonna go, let me just back up a little bit here. So we're gonna swing our arm and transfer the ball. And to transfer the ball, we're not just gonna like, okay? We're going to go gently, and here if you can see, I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna put it, you see how my hand does that turn here? Watch this hand, it just rolls over. Okay, so we're gonna go open, gentle, and switch hands. Good. If you got this down, and there's no problem. Maybe try it with a balance now. Oh. Good, but make sure you're controlling the balance and the ball. So not, oh. yeah, nice and strong. Pour the weight into the bottom leg and then gently hands side to side. Whoops, that was a bit of a throw. If your arms are getting tired, you can take a break. Just relax, okay? That was our main start with the ball. So really gentle with the ball. If you have a bigger ball, it might be a little harder to hold on to. Okay, so if you maybe have a soccer ball at home and that's what you're using, um, it's a little trickier to for some of these moves. Um, so just do what you can, do your best. Yeah, okay, I'm sure you will. So for now we're going to go just one hand and watch this hand, we're gonna go in. So our fingers are pointing towards maybe our belly button or our hips and then right to the back and out. And belly button, back and open. If you wanna be a little tricky, you can bring it up this way and around and towards your belly button and up. See my hand's still underneath it, so I'm really twisting my arm here and back through. Okay, really think my palm wants to stay towards the ceiling as much as possible. And down. Good job, let's go the other hand. So now remember gentle, nice. No, don't bolt your hands. Nice and gentle, make a bed for the ball and in towards your hip or belly button and to the back and out. So we all have a hand that's more comfortable than another and that's perfectly normal. That just means we have a chance to work on it just a little bit more and then we'll see some more improvement. So it's really just more opportunity for improvement, which is cool. Now again, if you wanna be a little trickier, bring that all the way around, see this is my less stable hand, but that's okay. And up and down. Same thing here, look, the palm stays up towards the ceiling and back down. Alrighty, okay. So now we've done the first half of a, what they call a figure eight. So we're gonna draw an eight. There you go, I'm right-handed. So that's the beginning, that's the bottom loop of the eight. Okay, now comes the tricky part, but here's the trick. If you think that you wanna bring your arm as far as possible from your body, it'll be easier. If you try and go like this, it'll be harder because your arm doesn't go that way, okay? So nice and straight out to the side, 
bring your fingers towards your belly button, behind you, and now to the side, but we're still slightly upside down. Now keep reaching far, 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 far in front of you. See how far in front of me it is? And then I come up all the way up, and there. Sometimes it's easier if you do it with a little bit of an arch, so that back warm up we did comes in handy here. So here, and if you want to add a little bit to it. Okay, let's do two more on this hand, and then we'll do five on the other hand. Ready? Nice and tall, good job. And straight elbow, hand underneath, make a pillow, and reach up. If you want to arch, go ahead and come out in front. All right, one more. And or fingers to belly button, stretch your elbow behind you, and then far, 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 far away from you. And down. Now, if you wanna keep practicing that, maybe just rewind the, the tape for just a little bit, and you can slow down the speed on YouTube, so you can really break it down if you need some help, or if you wanna try and work on that a little bit more. We're gonna to switch to our other hand now. Nice and straight in front of you. Oh, sorry, to the side. And now we went hand, finger to belly button, straight arm behind you. And now reach it far to the side. And now all the way around, keep that arm really straight and triangle as far as possible. Oh. And an arch if you want. And two, finger to belly button, straight arm behind you, around. And out, that's two, we need three more. <laughs> I can do math. And finger to belly button, reach back behind you. Hand is always under the ball. Reach that arm around. Good job. Now if you do have a soccer ball, this part might be really hard because your arm might just not be long enough and that's okay. All right, just give it a shot, do what you can. And through, and around, and one last one. Fingers to belly button, reach out behind you. Good arch, good job. Okay, so now we've done a bunch of stuff with just holding the ball, which is great. But let's try and do some small tosses. With the small tosses, you need to make sure that you're not anywhere near something that can break or that you can hit or maybe like a lamp or something, okay? That's hanging from the ceiling. So make sure you've got a clear ceiling. So right now I've got a fairly clear ceiling and so I'm okay, I've got a good amount of space. If you don't have a lot of space, then maybe just do really tiny throws for now. We're just working on the basics. If you're outside, maybe later you can practice higher throws where you've got a bit more space, okay? But let's just be safe and let's try and not break stuff. So back to this. So we want to make sure that our hand is still just a bed, okay? And we're going to bend our knees and swing our arm back just a little bit. Now, remember exactly this motion because we're basically gonna press rewind when it's time to catch. So you're gonna swing up, keep that elbow super straight, okay? And push into the air. You wanna think that your arm is nice and straight. If you threw it properly and you're stopping your arm at the right place, I should be able to look at the tips of your fingers and the angle of your, or the line of your hand, and I should be able to know exactly where your ball is. Your ball. Your ball. <laughs> okay? So make sure that you are straight and push straight. Okay? If you go like this, then we don't know where the ball goes. Okay? So nice and straight. And now, when you go to catch it, okay, pretend. It's coming back down. We're going to do exactly the same thing that we did to throw, just in reverse. So it's like you press rewind. You're gonna catch the ball nicely, your arm stays best, uh, straight, and you're going to come back with it, okay? If you go like this towards the ball, it's gonna be like a, a game of volleyball. So you don't wanna, you don't wanna make a wall for the ball to hit. You wanna make sure that you make a bed. Okay, so nice and gentle. When you go here, you throw and gentle back. Okay, nice and gentle. If the throw, if you wanna just focus on the throw for now, and then the catch, we'll figure out later. That's totally fine too. You can go here and then just catch however works for you. Um, if catching like this, you've already done this. Oops, that was not the way to catch. If you've already done this, 
and that's too easy, you can start adding in some clapping or something like that underneath. So you can go from here and throw and tap and down. Okay? Give that a go maybe five times each hand. Make sure you do both hands. If you want an extra challenge on top of the clapping, you can maybe do throw, touch the floor, and catch. Okay? If that's still easy enough, make sure you've got lots of space. But remember those chenets we learned? This is a great time to try them if you're feeling like a challenge. So you throw, you chene, oh, and then you try and catch. Your ceiling height may decide for you if that's a good idea. So give that a go five times. Make sure that you are stretching your elbow and you are re releasing backwards. Yeah, absorbing the, the power that you put into the throw. You press rewind backwards. If you're done your five, maybe do six each hand, just to give everyone a chance to get them done. Awesome. So now to make it a little trickier, we can also do in a balance. So you can choose one of two balances to do your throw in. So you can go from here, you can bend and go into your front, um, flamingo or passe balance, or you can bend and then go here into that front 90. Okay. And see my mistake right there. Did you catch that? I catched it. I catched it. I caught it like this and I didn't follow through. So that was, I had to keep that in mind. So nice and tall and reach back. Okay. Give that a go. Each hand, maybe let's do three with a balance. If you're feeling tricky and the balance is easy, then you can switch hands. So throw with one hand, catch with the other. Okay. Or try the balance on toe. Those are all options. Up and down, up and down. If you're switching arms, make sure that that arm also goes to reach towards the catch. So I swing and my arms are the same, okay? You don't wanna to catch too low. If you try and come at it down here, oof, you got a volleyball game again. Okay, great. So we've done our two balances or one of two balances there. We've tried it out with the throw and we've done the figure eight, which is fantastic. Now we're gonna learn what we call unstable balances. Um, and that's where you put the ball, the ball, <laughs> in a weird place on your body, okay? So you wanna make sure that it's nice, it's ready, it's sturdy, it's not too wobbly, okay? And then instead of put using our hands to hold it, we're gonna try and put it behind our neck. So you wanna make sure that your back is really flat, like a tabletop. So balls like to roll down hills. If you are a tall hill, it rolls down really fast, okay? So make sure that you're flatter. And now you're gonna just tilt your head up. Well, if you can see here. Tilt your head up just a little bit and put your arms out to the side. If you've got a real ball, it's a little trickier. Socks are a little easier to hold, yeah? And now, when we're here, we can either try and go nice high toes and turn. Make sure you don't drop a shoulder and the ball will roll down that hill. So think about the hills and try and avoid them as much as possible. So no hills on this, we're all flat. Turn, 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 nice and high. Good job, okay, Whew. relax for a second. Now we're gonna try with that front scale you learned with Kiki. So nice and tall, remember to hinge at the waist. I'm gonna put the socks ball behind you, behind your neck, strong body. Now we're going to cheat a little on that hinge just to get this set up. And now we're going to lift our leg. If this is too hard for you and that's totally fine, it's not an easy skill. I'm just being a little tricky. If that's not working for you, then you can absolutely just hold this position without the leg up. So just hold here. If you want to work towards the balance, work, maybe go here and then slowly lift your leg and see how that goes. Okay, let's do three on each side. Remember to pour your weight into that front leg. 
That support leg needs to be really strong and supported. So stretch that front knee, pour the weight into your leg. You're gonna squeeze those shoulders blades, oof, shoulder blades back just a little so that you're a flat back and not a turtle. Yeah, and then tuck your head up a little bit, chin up, and that'll give it a bit of a valley to sit in. Give you a few more seconds to practice each side. So here we wanna make sure that our arms are really strong too, because if our arms are droopy, then our shoulders probably won't hold. So we want a strong, strong, strong arm. Yeah, and then just a little bit of a arch step back. Good job. So that was an unstable balance. It just basically means it's, uh, it's balancing on something that maybe isn't the easiest to balance on. So good job. If you girls wanna grab a drink of water, go ahead and then we'll come back in just a moment. Okay, pause it so that I don't lose you. All right, let's say we're back. Okay, this is where you're going to want either your toilet paper or your plastic empty, plastic water bottle, okay? Um, if you are in a condo or there's someone underneath you, I would suggest the toilet paper. It's just quieter when it lands. That's basically it. Um, otherwise, you can use this if it's easier. I'm going to continue with my socks because my socks are quite large. But if your socks are smaller, then you're gonna want something to kind of help you with the next few moves. So our next moves, we are going to do some rolling. Straight elbows, arms out to the, in front of you. Now remember we talked about that hill and how the ball likes to roll down a hill, right? So stretch your elbows straight. You don't have to use your hands too much. You just straight elbows and it rolls down your arms and back down and up and down Woo. and up. Woo. It's like an added challenge when it's not an actual ball. All right, so up and down. Good job, and roll, and roll. Beauty, roll, and roll, and roll, and roll. If that's easy for you, then you can give this a shot, but if, you, if you're comfortable with just doing the two arm roll, then stick to that, okay? If you want an extra challenge, stretch your elbow out, just one hand, get the other hand ready to catch, okay? And roll, you can try and roll it back, it might be harder with socks. <laughs> but if you have a water bottle, it actually might be roughly the same. Now, same thing here. You don't want to attack the ball like I just did. You want to go gentle. If you want the ball to slow down, you need to make the hill less hilly. Okay? So flatten out your hill. Oh, that did not work for me. Roll and roll. Oh, that's not working for me. But it might be working for you, which would be great. That's where the, oh, there we go. Okay. That's where the options come in handy. So you can try a, diff a bunch of different options. Whatever's easier for you, whatever works. Oh, Whew. Ah. So make sure you work on both hands, okay? Because you wanna make sure that both hands can do things. Now, now that we've done that, we are going to get a little tricky and we're gonna add in what Clara taught you. So you remember your grapevines? We are going to do that with our roll. So you can start with just this and roll back. Whoop, and I'm off the screen. I'm coming back, so don't worry, I didn't go anywhere. All right, you can do it that way. If that's easy enough, you can add a little flare or I would just say watch the, the jumpiness because if you jump while you're rolling, it, the, the ball will bounce off of your hand, okay? So try and make it a little slower. So maybe down and up. Maybe that's how we wanna add some flair by making our movements really flowy, okay? Now, if you wanna try one-handed, you sure can. So here and maybe there. I don't know if you saw that. I have to make my steps smaller. 
So we're gonna start with the ball in one hand. I'm gonna walk towards it, and then I'm gonna walk away from it. Oof. I keep forgetting to lift my heel. That's why, I'm, that's part of my problem. Also, these don't roll properly, but one, part of my problem is I'm leaving my heel too steep, and so it rolls down too fast, okay? So give that a go. Make sure you do both sides. So roll and roll, and then we come back and roll and roll. Give it a go. Try like three or four times each. Um, if the one arm is too much, then you're welcome to stick with this one. All right, cool. I'm gonna teach you one more. One, well, maybe two more rolls. I think we have time for two more rolls. So we're gonna do a sort of easier one first, and then we'll go to the tricky, tricky one at the end. So we're gonna sit back down, put your ball on your thighs. If you have a real ball, flex your feet, it's a little easier to catch it, okay? But you're gonna roll down to your feet. And then you're gonna have to use all those tummy muscles. You got them, I know you do. Lean back and squeeze those legs together like they're one leg, okay? And I'll explain why in a second. But squeeze those legs together like they're one, and rise up, and it should roll down. If you do not lift them at the same time, then your ball will fall off, okay? And you'll be doing the 100 meter dash everywhere. So make sure that you squeeze those legs together. If you're feeling like that's easy enough, you can keep your toes pointed and try and time it so that the ball never comes off. Ha ha. Roll and whoop. Catch it just in time. Roll, oof. Oh, I did not. Roll and roll. If that is easy enough for you, we can try doing a little toss with our legs. Okay, I'll show you. Maybe let's just work on the toss first, not the whole thing. So you're gonna bend your legs, flex your feet, lean back, and you're gonna pop the ball in the air like that. Okay, again, watch for anything around you that could be um, breakable or that you could hit. You wanna make sure you've got lots of clear space. So flex your feet, hands behind you. You're gonna use those tummy muscles, pop it up in the air, the best way to get it to pop up in the air is to point your toes. So what you're doing is you're pushing. You see that right there? That part of my foot is going to pop it in the air. So you're gonna roll down your legs, bend and pop. Good, all right, give that a go. If that's easy enough for you, then you're gonna keep your toes pointed though and pop. So you just need to lift your legs a little faster. Your knees need to stay straight your legs need to stay together and they have to come up faster, okay? So, ooh, good job. Roll and catch. If that's easy enough for you, I'll give you one more modification so you can go down. How do I do this so you can see me? So all the way down and start the, the roll from higher up on your stomach or on your chest. Roll down and whoop, pop it up. You're gonna have to push kind of hard if you have something that isn't a real ball because it won't roll as easily. So you gotta give it a little more zoom, okay? So give that a go, a couple more seconds. Try your last few times and then one more roll and then we're done for the day. Figure out what we're doing that. Okay, now last one, great. You are going, you can stand up for this one or you can do it on the floor, whatever is easier. Uh, maybe I'll stand up. I'm gonna take your socks and remember how we had them for that unstable balance behind our neck. Now you want a hill because you want it to roll. So what we're gonna do, I'll do it sort of back to you so you won't be able to hear me. I'll stop talking for a second. So here, roll, okay? So pop it behind your back, make a bit of a hill not too much, because then it just falls, okay? So you need to kind of slow that down. If it's too fast, lean forward a little bit more. If it's too slow, then sit up, uh, then stand up a little bit more, okay? Or sit up if you're on the floor. So here, and you're gonna push it back and bring your arms, you gotta swing your arms back pretty quickly. Once you let go, you gotta get your arms there faster. 
Now a trick, if you want, if you're having trouble getting your hands there in time, that's a tricky part too. You can put yourself against a wall. Just put your back against a wall. Let's see, I can show you with this. Okay, if you're sitting maybe or whatever. So I've got something right behind me. So you can line up to a wall, put your bum towards the wall, your hands here, when you roll, it'll stop on the wall, okay? So you'll be able there to trap it just for a second, long enough to grab it, if you need that. If you don't need that, then no problem. Don't worry about it. Do it without the wall. But if you do need it, this one's kind of tricky. Roll and catch, okay? If that's easy for you, you know we have some more advanced girls with us. So you can put the ball or the socks on the back of your hands. Okay, I sometimes grab my, my uh, thumbs. It's easier to keep them together. Now here's the tricky part because you need strength and flexibility for this one. You're gonna squeeze, keep your arms super straight. Squeeze up and roll from your hands right down your back. So squeeze and down. Okay, if that's not working for you, just keep doing this one against a wall or whatever you want. Okay, so that is it for today's class. I hope you guys had fun. Um, I hope you found new ways to use socks and toilet paper and water bottles um, and you can explore and have fun. Try stuff outside if you wanna maybe practice that throw chenet, um, that throw turn and then catch, um, try it outside where nothing <laughs> could get bunked. Um, and, uh, well, we'll see you next week. Have a wonderful weekend and thank you for joining us.